Well, my, my background's in publishing. So um, I studied literature and philosophy at university, which doesn't really prepare you well for any job. Uh, and then I did an internship at the Institute of Contemporary Arts in London. And from that, I began working for uh, a London publishing house called Fiden. And I worked there for six years as an editor. So my background is really in content and content development around art. So my, although I'm not trained as an art historian, my, my, my career has been in, um, in, in kind of content and um, specifically around contemporary art. And I mean, in many ways, the, the skills are kind of transferable in that it's to do with it's, it's communication, it's to do with taking complicated material and trying to make it accessible to a, to a wide audience. So many of, the, many of the things that I was doing are, are very much the same things I'm doing now. Um, and then, so I did that for six years, and eventually I got sick of books, and I love books, but I never wanted to see any proofs ever again. And, and, and in parallel, that I was always kind of interested in the sort of technology aspect of, of publishing. I was, and so it was just at the time that uh, desktop publishing was, uh, I mean, obviously that was well established, but there was, it was a kind of move to uh, print on demand, not print on demand, to um, uh, computer to prints. And so I was always the person that could kind of set up Quark Express and I could do things in Photoshop. And, and then from that, uh, working in publishing is terribly badly paid. So I was, I was, you know, friends and, and friends of friends would ask me to do kind of desktop publishing for them and then they would say, you know, sometimes they would say, could you do a website as well? And I kind of thought, well, how difficult could that be? So I'm entirely self-taught, uh, and but I can kind of code HTML and, and, and all that kind of stuff. And um, so then I left uh, Fired and Press and became self-employed for a period. Um, doing all kinds of things, doing websites, doing editing, doing design. And then I saw a job that was, and I, and I, and I applied for a number of jobs at, muse at museums, and I was always interested in museum websites. And I applied for a number of jobs, and I often got an interview, uh, but I never got the job. And so, you know, I, I would ask them, well, why, why did I not get the job? And the answer usually came back because you have no experience of using a web content management system. So I kind of thought, well, I've got to get myself the experience of using one of these systems. And uh, so I saw a job at Tate that was working in the communications department. And it was really around populating the content management system and managing web content. Uh, so I applied for that. And when I went for the job, they kind of said to me, well, why are you applying for this job? Because you're like massively overqualified. And I said, well, because I'm interested in the, in the website and I want to get experience of using one of these systems. And so, uh, so they hired me. And then from there, it was just in the, the, the web department at Tate was just kind of at the moment at which it was going through a transformation, which is that it was, it was growing. This was about 2005 or six. And it was just at a, at a point where it was going from a transfer, transformation from being about six people, and they were basically making a big investment and, and kind of doubling the size of the web team. And it was moving from being a um, really a department that was quite small to being uh, uh, they, they wanted to bring in an editorial team, basically. So I was uh, took over a role that was then called a website editor. And I then uh, built the team and we hired people to generate website content. And they were really on specific areas. So we basically brought in an editorial team of six people to look after different sections of the site. So we brought in someone to look at the collection, someone to do a children's website, someone to do a young people's website. Um, and again, that's how I ended up at Tate. <laughs> 